Hello and welcome to this new video for Assassination Rogue and Sub Rogues. Both week hours are in my collection of Rogue hours. I have Assassination here and Sub Subtlety here. Okay? So, but. I want to show you how you can install these settings here and how you can modify your auras and move them around and fix something and I will explain what these auras mean and what they does. So now I want to show you where you can download my profiles. The first thing is the LPUI user interface you see in my videos. I have updated it a little bit, like you can see here. This look looks a little bit different. Um, has a little bit more fixating on players and target bars, so I have more space and room in the middle of the screen, so I can see more. And yes, so this profile here, I copied into a string and uploaded it here on this web page, Vagio.com. EU. It's the string, I will copy this into the description and have to copy this string here, copy the string and go to LFUI options, profiles, import profile, click it and paste the string you just copied from the web page into this window here. This is the wall of text and just click import now and then it won't look like this right now because you have um, you have to add some add-ons. So I will show you my add-ons you need for this user interface. So you need this for add-ons, LFUI of course, add-on skins and LFUI Banky UI. Just put this add-ons in your add-on folder, you have nothing to configure. Um, yes, and that was it. And when you have installed all the four add-ons, you can copy-paste my string I just showed to you into the window and press import now. And it would look, and it will look like this you see here on the screen. I also have some other um, add-ons. So for the damage and healing window here on the right side down, you need SCADA and just follow the installed instructions you will get if you start Bank UI for the first time. Just configure like you want and it will automatically configure your SCADA window so it would look like this here on the right. So then I use nameplate scrolling convert text and look where it is this one here just install it it's everything um, on the first menu so you don't need to configure something then I would recommend yes it was it the rest is just for my behavior to play so nothing special yes these are my elf UI so now we will go into Week hours. So for week hours, it's the same web page, just a different link. Rogue hours. Um, I will also uh, put this link in the description. And I updated these two links nearly every two to three weeks. So put it on your favorite and look into it if there's a new version. So here is the same procedure. Copy string. Just click on this th thing here. Go into your week hour settings by typing slash v -I -R -V -A and go into import here. This. And also, you just need to paste it in this window. Here you can see the thing you want to paste into your week hour options. I will not do this because then I have two groups and I already have my rogue arrows of course. So I will show you 
how to configure it. So. These are all my Vicaras. The most important stuff is this Vicara here. It will show you when your trinket will proc. If you have the engine trinket, it will show you. It will also play a sound. So you you hear a little bit sp a little splash sound that you uh, know, oh okay, it's procced. And there will be a number of how many bolts you have to collect on this Vicara. Of course the maximum is 4, so there will be a 4. And every time you collect the knob, there will also play a sound, a little ding. So you know, oh, I have collect an op. Really helpful uh, Vicara. Then we have here the Kingspain stack and Kingspain damage. It will show you how many times Kingspain proc and what will be the overall dot damage from thing, uh, Kingspain you get. So um, the goal is to reach 20 to 25 stacks. So if your uh, Kingspain is only 3 or 4 seconds left and you have only 14 or 15 um, stacks, try to finish instantly with an, an Venom so you can maybe gain more stacks because your Venom buff of course uh, increased your poison proc shanks by 30% and so Kingspain can um, proc more often and you will get of course more damage because it's proc more. So this, this is really helpful a week around. Then of course I see it's not perfect move. Now it's perfect. This is the Poison Bomb Big Aura. I really like the uh, Poison Bomb Big Aura, so I see when my Poison Bomb procced because um, it's not always visible. So now I have a weak Aura for it and I can see it very good. Then of course we have here the most important um, buffs and cast we have to track for our Rogue. Everything is here on the left side. So we have really much space we can see. Here we, we can move around everything and can put it where we want, where we do you want to have it. You can move everything by its own by just clicking on it. And yes, this is my big hour configuration. And I hope everything is here we need. We have here pot, concordance, Mantle, Subterfuge, um, Memento, yes, everything is here. So, I hope I could help you a little bit with this Week Aura video and LFUI video and I hope you can configure it. If you have some problems, just uh, tell me and I try to help you in the comments or you can also add me um, on Battle.net, just write a comment on the video and I will write my battle tag to you. So, and yes, that was for today, for this video here, and yes, I hope you will gain some good DPS and will be a better rogue. Bye bye.